What up, dudes? ZR Car here. Back with another passport video. This is my 2020 Honda Passport Elite. The color is modern steel metallic. You can see a little bit of metal in there. A little bit of sparkle. So, I just installed my wiring harness for my tow package, my trailer wiring harness. And I've had it for, I don't know, three months at least. Paid 190 bucks for the wiring harness off of Bernardi's. So it's basically just this and uh, comes with the seven pin and a couple uh, pigtail wire harnesses and um, just wanted to kind of talk about it while it was fresh in my mind so a bunch of my other videos it's I talked about that installing the tow hitch and um, how the Honda wants two thousand freaking dollars for all of the um, tow package, basically the hitch, the harness, and the transmission cooler. So on Bernardi's, I picked up the hitch for like I want to say one hundred eighty bucks, something like that, and then uh, the wire harness was another hundred and ninety, I believe. And I still have not got the transmission cooler. So I'm limited to 3,500 pounds. Right there. Oh, helicopter. So I wanted to talk about installing the harness after this guy goes past. Bye-bye. So the uh, directions for the harness kind of look scary. They're like 50 steps, I think, off of Bernardi's. You can download it. And it talked about getting, removing some of this plastic and this pretty much this whole side um, to get to the harness. And here comes the loud beep. You really don't have to do that. So I actually scheduled a, an, an appointment with Hana to, to pay the 200 bucks to install the harness. Um, but they couldn't get me in for a couple days. So I started ripping into it myself. So it's pretty easy. Basically you just flip this all the way back. You put your seats back so this whole area is exposed. Um, and then this tray comes out this tray right here. There is a couple videos This is not a how-to video by any means. It's just a video to let you know that uh, the trailer harness is not that scary to install So that came out and then this little trim piece just pulls up um, Around the hitch it just comes straight off this whole piece right here and once you get all that stuff removed, um, you take off this this uh, tie down and that tie down, and basically this separates right at the seam here from the side, and underneath this right here, this wheel well, um, is the harness is the is the connection. So long story short, if you can get to that cannon plug to install the harness it's all downhill from there it's pretty stinking easy the uh, harness let's see if I can stand to my head the harness is right there 
and it goes in kind of right Let's see if I can find it right there so it's pretty simple but like I said 50 steps on the install and it's really only about five so as soon as you find the harness underneath here um, it's you're pretty much golden so back to Honda's pricing 2,000 freaking bucks is what they want to do all that so I've got less than 400 into it and um, I have all of it done except the auxiliary transmission cooler which will jump the towing capability up to 5,000 so I'm limited to 3,500 right now but I'm not sure how much I'd really want to tow with this it'll probably do 5,000 as long as you're not putting the hurt to it I imagine I mean this v6 has got a ton of power but I just wanted to kind of talk to everyone about uh, the install on that wire harness I, I kind of get out of, a kick out of it though the first uh, couple steps on the instructions <laughs> It says, uh, this is not for do-it-yourselfers. And it was just, just freaking dumb. Like, it's, seriously, as soon as you find that harness right behind here, it's, it's easy. Um, there are some how-to videos to do it. And as soon as I uh, figured out the exact location of that harness after I pulled back this this panel um like i said it was super easy but installing the hitch was pretty easy too um i had a lot of questions because of the kick step um i didn't pay for the kick step relocate it was like another couple hundred and i probably would use that automatic kick step maybe twice a year so it wasn't worth it to me i really don't care about it um, some people do. Here comes a lot of people. Anyways, that was just on my mind. The wire harness install. And uh, the directions also were a little vague on some of the fuse placement. Um, there's two big fuses that go in the factory um, pigtail. Uh, it kind of comes with the box. And then there's one big fuse under the hood. I'll show you real quick. So it's just three fuses as far as I know. Um, and the directions were so vague that I uh, just to kind of did an educated guess of where I thought that they went so this big 30 amp right here and then um, there was two like kind of they look like this they go in a factory wire harness that I bought off of Bernardi's so really wasn't that difficult save myself 210 bucks it only took like a freaking hour or two anyways i know i'm just rambling so hit that like button hit that subscribe button peace